go out with Mark. Well, who's Mark? That's Mark. This is Barry. All oh, right. Well, why didn't you say anything? You never introduced us, did you? You've not let anybody get away then since you've walked through the door. Yeah, well, uh, I'm a busy man, aren't I? Anyway, yeah, uh, I've got to go into town now. Final fitting for my new suit, you know. I'll have to love you and leave you, won't I? Never mind. You can keep the presents. Doesn't matter about Saturday. Just have to find somebody else to go to Paris, won't I? Champagne and caviar and all that. Going out with a cork, eh? That's your career and ruins. Ta da. Open the window, someone. Let the smell out. What's he doing buying new dresses? Oh, there's just sometimes he's got more money than sense and he just buys presents for everyone he knows. I think he sets it off against tax or something. Must have a good job throwing money about like that. I think he's just a bit soft in the head myself. Small time buck. Thinks he's big time. You sure he doesn't fancy you or anything? No chance. Actually, um, he's my stepbrother. Who? The new in touch monitor from Johnson and Johnson. How dry can an antiperspirant get? Try Double X Dry. You are a Double X girl. Extra, extra dry. You don't have to be single to flirt. 09064 789 789, the flirt hotline. Look into a personal loan from Phone Alone. The closer you get, the better it looks. If you're over 18 with a good credit history, you could borrow from one to 15,000 pounds. Pay it back any time from one to five years and spend it on anything you like. You pay back the same amount every month, so clearly it's easier to budget. You'll get an attractive interest rate, and there's no penalty if you repay your loan early or pay in a larger amount. No catches, no extra charges, and there's nothing hidden in the small print. For a great fixed rate loan that gets better the closer you look, call Phone Alone on 0800 1 38 68 98 now. The temperature's rising. It's Hunks Week on Living. Is that a threat or a promise? For hot nights of perfect pets. Bingo. Adorable abs. This is about as big as it comes. Good, clean fun. How many more guys you got out there? You really want to know? Huh. I guess who? Way to go, boys. Be careful what you wish for. And if you were thinking of doing something else that week... You're just going to have to change those plans, don't you? Hunks Week starts 8.30, Tuesday the 24th of August on Living. Margaret prepares for the worst when the Farnhams return from holiday in Brookside. Doing that for me? Oh, the hard part's getting these pleats right. Well, I'll finish it for you if you like. I've still got loads of time. No, you're all right. The job's worth doing and all that. So, uh, were you busy last night? Nah, I was back in bed for half one. You were snoring. So, how are you feeling? I'm oh, all right. Must have another kip after. No, not about that. But last Friday, seen the consultant getting these tests done. Well, how am I meant to feel? I don't know. I just thought now you've had the weekend to think about it. I've had the weekend working my backside off. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, whoops a daisy. Hey, uh, close your eyes there, will you? Why? There's nothing to see. Those might be interrupting something. Like what? I think you know what I mean. Where have you been, anyway? Um, well, Sunday night slowly that went on a bit too long, you know. Hey, you want to watch you and what you pick up, you know. Should not be better than that, Teddy. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go and get my head down. I'll see you about that favour after, all right? All right. Good night, Sue. What favour? Eh, uh, don't know yet. So you're saying yes to favours you don't even know about? I haven't said yet to nothing. He's got you running round like a little errand boy. No, he hasn't. He's me mate. And anyway, he's done us a couple of grand's worth of favours recently, hasn't he? That doesn't mean you're at his beck and call. I'm not at his beck and call. <sighs> not much. Look, the more favours I do him, the quicker you can get him paid off, all right? Oh, don't talk soft. Open your eyes, will you? How much are you charging per favour? I don't know. Well, how many favours do you think he'll call in before he decides that we're out of the red? I don't know. Well, I do. Doing his favours might just about cover the interest on that money. Well, he's me mate, isn't he? He's a user and he's using you. Well, that's your opinion. Yeah, and I'm sticking to it. Are you off your head? I want to get this done now. I'm working after. There should be some kind of law about making this kind of noise this time of the morning. I'm putting this stupid picture up for you, aren't I? Well, it must be taking you all of ten minutes. And I paid for it. All right, you'll get your money back. Wouldn't mind if it was any good. Me half fella wouldn't have anything like this in the house. Yeah, well, my dad doesn't have to look at it, does he? Because he's in Basingstoke. I do, though. Ah. Oh. Next picture I pay for, it's going to be one that I like. Oh, yeah. I'll be the crying boy and the house will burn down. Hey, I've got good taste, me. Absolutely marvellous. At least I can pay for my taste. Look, I'm having a few problems getting my business started. Yeah, you've been saying that for six months. Yeah, well, I'm just having a few cash flow problems. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing some of your cash flowing into this house, you know. It takes more than five minutes, you know, Rod. You're not kidding. Just you wait till I've been the blue rinse mob and you're coming to me for money. Seen that? What? Flying pig. Just you wait. I will, but in the meantime, Trace, we've got a mortgage to pay. When are we going to lodge you? Do you reckon, yeah? Well, it'd help pay a few bills, wouldn't it? Be a lot of trouble, though. I mean... I'd have to add them vetted and that, you know, because of my job. It was just an idea. Unless I already knew who was moving in. Like who? Well, I could ask Tom how we'd be game on, you know. Oh, uh, no way. I'm not having this place turned into a police hostel. Oh, he's all right, Tom. Always a good laugh. No, I'm not having you taken over. Well, what would you rather have, a stranger? All right, well, if you're asking Tom, then I'm going to ask Nicky. Oh, that's softer. Two lodges are better than one. You're just copying me, though. Rod, if the house has got four bedrooms, isn't it better to have four people living in it? I suppose so. And I'm not sticking Nicky in the extension, either. That Tom I won't mind going in the garage. He's a fella, isn't he? Just think. We'll have two macho men to look after us. That's right, yeah. Oh, what are you doing? There's bird muck all over the windscreen. You're not using your fingernails, are you? Yeah. Well, I hope you wash your hands before you eat anything. Yeah, all right. Pigeons. I think I'll buy an air rifle. Mm, charming. I'm sure they weren't aiming for your window. Well, I'll be aiming for their jacksies. Fell out of bed the wrong side this morning, did we? Maybe. Come on, come and have some breakfast then, eh? I'm not hungry. Oh, Frank Sulkin's not going to do any good. I can't stop thinking about me daughter on a course with Old Man River. Frank, I don't like it much either, but what can we do? I know those two will be up to. Worrying about that won't do you any good at all. This trip to Derbyshire, Nottingham's not too far. I might just pop over there and surprise them. Don't you dare. Sammy would go mad. Find out what the score is. Frank, we know what the score is. Yeah, about five nil to far the time. Hey, up, Mum. I'm going to play for school. Oh, stay to me, mate, here. You out of the old cage? No, I'm not just want to be in on time. You're going now. You'll be half an hour early. Oh, nothing wrong with being early, is that? Depends why. No reason. Anyway, I'm going. I check to make sure you're in on time. Mm. Love's young dream, eh? Yeah, I suppose I'll have to be checking behind the bike sheds now. Yeah. Still, at least this girl won't be hobbling around on a walking flame. Like Tim Flame and Zimmerman, will she? Promise me you won't start anything when you're over there. <sighs> I won't, but I don't like it. 
Frank, I'm as frustrated as you are. But I know what you're like. You get over there, you want to plant one on this fella, Tim, once you get going. Who, me? I wouldn't let a pension, eh? aren't you? It's all right. I've still got plenty of time. All right, you can have this. Great. Share and share alike, eh? Tom. Well, don't clam up on me, Terry. I'm not. I need to know what you're thinking. And you better get off in a minute. Forget about work. Just talk to me. What about? How oh, some fella's gonna mess about with me with a scalpel. Coulter told you on Friday that there'd be no blades. Microsurgery, he said. Same difference, isn't it? <clears throat> it's the idea of the operation all you're worried about. Isn't that enough? Barrica seals, <laughs> blocked tubes. Makes me sound like a vacuum cleaner. I know. But is it just that? I don't know. There's that much stuff going on in my head. I don't know where to start. You haven't changed your mind, have you? No, no. It's just the thought of being told you can have kids after all. <sighs> isn't that what you want? I know it sounds daft, but if I got told I couldn't have kids, at least my mind would be made up, wouldn't it? Last week you were full of the thought of having another baby. I still am. It's just frightening, that's all. Well, Terry, you've got to tell me what you're really thinking, though. I know. If you don't want to have another baby, our baby, then neither do I. That's the problem, though, isn't it? Danny, I love him like he's my own. Well, he's more yours than anyone else's. But if you have a baby that's ours, from our bodies, I'm scared I love it more than him. Oh, look, you're too good a father for that, Terry. How do you know? How does anybody know that, eh? If this specialist turns around and says, right, go ahead, everything's back in working order, how am I going to feel, like? Eh? I don't know. Think about it. I'm going to be sitting there with my little girl in my arms, rocking it, and there's Danny in front of me. A walking reminds of everything that nearly went wrong. Who would you love more? I don't know. You won't, will you? Because they'll both be yours. I can't help that now. What if we have a bigger family, though? Danny's always going to be a stepbrother to them, isn't he? Yeah, but well, he won't know that, will he? One day he will. Yeah, when he's grown up and he understands. I've got a mate upstairs who's grown up. He doesn't know that Bobby Grant isn't his dad. How do you think he's going to feel if he finds out? Do you think he'll understand? Well, our son won't be a Barry, will he? Well, they've got enough in common, haven't they? Well, you've got to decide, Terry. It's got to be worth the risk. I can't, not yet. I need to know that you're 100% behind me. Let's just wait till after the test, eh? Come on. I'll take you to work, all right? All right. All right. Can I talk to you? You are doing, aren't you? On your own. See you in a minute, all right. You don't care what they think, do you? Well, I do, actually, yeah. Why? Because they're my mates and you're making a show of me. I came in early this morning to see you. Why? I felt like you. Come to school with my mates. Don't you know we're going out? Sort of. Uh, how do you mean? Nothing. She mates still got a cop on. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him since he got off on Friday. If you'd have told me about the tickets, I wouldn't have come, you know. I wanted to see you, not him. You can't do the dirty on your mates. I'll make it up to him. I hope so. Good morning, young lovers. Nice. Never felt better. And how are the farm? Brilliant. That's what I like to hear. Remember, don't let me down. See you in class, Geoffrey. I 
I'll take him upstairs, shall I? Hi. <laughs> oh, home at last. We've had the most brilliant time. Oh, good. I think it was a bit hot for the little fella, though. Did he get sunburn? Yeah, right down to his bits and pieces. Nude sunbathing for the under threes. Not recommended. Ah. Uh, well, worn out after all that travelling. Now then, pot of tea for three, eh? Yeah, I'll make it in a minute. Prezi but... time first. Ah. We shouldn't have done. Max didn't. He got you this. It's brilliant, thanks. You're very welcome. Tell her how you got it, Max. Belvia Timeshare Sharks Incorporated. <laughs> yeah, he sat through a two-hour film presentation and brainwashing session to get that free of charge. It's simple. All you have to do is stonewall them, that's all. Some of that mob are like the Moonies. But... I got you this. I can't take this. Of course you can. It's one of my favourites. I'm sorry, I can't take your presents now after what's happened. Why? What's up? I brought one of your teapots. I know how fond you are of them, and I've been round loads of shops and markets trying to find one, and I'm really sorry I can't. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us you'd sold the house or something. <laughs> well, don't worry. I mean, we can claim it on the insurance. I mean, it's only a... It's only a teapot. Which teapot was it? The camel one. I know it was one of your favourites. Well, that Max says it's only a teapot. Oh, yeah, but that's not all. Why? I think you better come outside. The story of Patty Duke. You know, they give me the answers. You're never to mention this to anyone. Is as extraordinary. Were you given the questions and answers ahead of time? No, sir, I was not. Do you know what perjury is? As it is bizarre. Whatever you are, whatever you have is entirely thanks to us. The nominees for Best Actress. We paid off your drunken father. Thank you. Some despair. They pumped your stomach. Can't take it anymore. To change. Patty Duke stars as herself in Call Me Anna tomorrow at 8.30 on Living. When we lie, we perspire. The fingertips never lie. Did you enter Zone 12? No. Did you escape the zone with sample Meta 3? No. But we know she's lying. How is this possible? I know I've caused you loads of trouble. I'll just give up my job and go if that's what you want. Uh, no, that's the last thing we need. So stop worrying. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're not going to set you over a broken teapot, are we? No, but what about the shed? Well, even I can see there's more to this collapsing shed than meets the eye. Next door. Hmm. Time to clamp down on the clampets. <laughs> Yeah, it's important, isn't it? No, no, I was uh, trying to do a bit of training. That's what I like to hear. I borrowed some weights off the deck holes. I want to put a bit more beef on me before the end of the season. D Day, eh? Not long now. Stardom or the scrappy? Oh, thanks very much. Don't be soft, we all know you're going to make it. I hope so. Nice to see you rationing yourself, though. What? On the love life front. Then again, it is nice to concentrate all your efforts on affairs of the heart occasionally. Have you got on a box? No. You, uh, you haven't said nothing about Friday yet. Well, what's this to say? I thought you'd still be mad, that's all. Well, why should I? You didn't look too happy when you got off, did you? That was before I got off. Well, I'm sorry, all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. I was fine once I got off. I just wanted to see Paul, that's all. It's not late, the money. What did you do then? 
I got off. Yeah, no, that, but, like, where did you go? The ain't house. You're joking. No, I went into town. Uh, on your own? Well, for a while, yeah, and then I got off. Got a phone. Well, I got off to someone's home, yeah. Well, I got off with this girl. You messing? She was a student nurse. Oh, aye, yeah. They're always nurses, aren't they? What do you think I am? No, honest. Yeah, grab a dry night, was it? No, she's 18. A first year student. I told her I was 18 and all, and she swallowed it. Oh, aye, now you'd expect me to swallow that. Went back to her house. She lives on Smithdown. What colour eyes she got? Brown. Well, what's her name? Sarah. Sarah Hudson. And she's currently on the geriatric ward of Pazakali. All right, she asked Sammy Swallow there, did she? I'm serious. Well, why isn't she living at the hospital? Because her and the mates moved out to this house about three months ago. And you went back there? Yeah, we had a pizza. Pizza? She's a cracker and all. Nah, I don't believe you. Best thing you ever did, blow me out of that gig like that, mate. Well, are you going to see her again? Well, I said I'd give her a call. You know how it is. I think we can handle our women fairly well. Can we? It's all yours, love. Thanks for nothing. Hi. Me and my shadow, or what? Well, uh, see you soon, anyway. I got loads of stick this morning off my mate about you. So what? Your mate still looks pleased about something. Yeah, yeah, he got off with someone on Friday nights. Where? Up in town, some nurse. Him and a nurse? Yeah, sound, eh? Walk. What? Now, walk. Why? Well, my little brother's behind us with his mates. Oh, yeah. Don't look, you divvy. Oh, nice. oh God, yeah. if he sees us, he'll bribe me. Oh, yeah, hold on, I can't win. Oh, no, you can pay him. Otherwise, he'll tell me, Dad, and we'll both be in trouble then. Oh, I'll see you later. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? Not bad. I'm going to have this place looking great. Will you, yeah? Yeah. Hey, will you run us down the shop? I've got a few things to get and there's no petrol in my car. All right. What time are you going? Well, my first job's at 12, so uh, any time before then. So, uh, busy today then, yeah? Yeah, fully booked. Oh, so? Might see a bit of cash, yeah? Well, if it makes you feel any better. I've just spent the last hour and a half doing my books. Oh, go, is it, yeah? For some of us, yes. So, um, you busy tonight then? Might be. Going out? Um, don't know. With Nicky? Nah, I'm not going out with Nicky. I see enough of it in the day. Oh. Uh, are you going out with them? I didn't say I was going anywhere. It's that Mark Potter, isn't it? Lord, I'm not going out tonight. You saw him over the weekend, didn't you, Trace? Oh, so what, Sherlock? Nothing. Anyway, what's wrong with Mark? Nothing. If I was going out by Grant, you'd be screaming blue murder. It's another thing. Don't like the idea of him hanging round next door, either. Buying new dresses. Oh, get the posse to run him out of town. No, you want to stay clear of Barry Grant. I am doing, thank you very much. Anyway, I thought you'd be made up. Going out with one of your crowd now. Maybe it's a bit too close to home, innit? What? Well, you know, I'll be going to work and I'll be there. I'll be coming home and I'll be here. Don't like all my workmates knowing all my business. And you don't want me knowing what you get up to at work? I've got nothing to hide. I bet you haven't. Anyway, all I'm saying is you want to be careful if you're going to start some setup with there, uh, Mark. You know what, Rod? You've got a cheek. Imagine me saying then about your precious Diana. Now, I nearly broke my neck on that tarmac before. Well, just with there being no faxes here when I got back. If they can fix that road, they can fix that shed. So, I take it the place hasn't fallen apart in my absence? Otherwise, I'm going to fix them. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. OK, then. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Look at the size of this! Sorry? The telephone bill. £237, 31p. How much? That's Margaret ringing the outback while we're at work. Oh, no. God knows what it's been like when we've been on holiday. Anyway, here is the itemised bill. That's the proof. We'll see. Well? Hold on. Well, how many calls to Oldermother? Uh, six. 
Oh, hang on, there's another seven. Well, totaling how much? Four, five pounds. And the rest is us? Well, there's some you and there's some, some me. Well, that's us, isn't it? Are you ready? I've had me coat on for half an hour. All right, I'm doing my best. Come on, I haven't got long. Look, I'm ready. You've still got a cop on? Let's just go away. Hey, listen, I'm sorry about before. I just don't want you getting mixed up in anything, that's all. Look, Mark's an all right fella, so what? Yeah, but I'm your brother, and there's only two of us now. Rod, no need to panic. I'm not going to be dragging him up the aisle tomorrow. I'm just after a bit of a laugh, that's all. Come on. for a stroll up our new footpad, have you? You've just been to shops. Yeah. You mean them um, shops you got nothing in them, yeah? <laughs> well, window shopping, you know. Yeah. How's business? Ah, not bad. Just doing my stock take, you know. Just be heading. Oh, I'll leave you to it then, eh, mate? Yeah. Hey, hang on, guys, before you go, am I right in thinking you used to do a bit of shop fitting? Yeah, well, it was many moons ago, that one. Who's been talking, like? A fat little bird, he told me. Oh, I thought my ears were burning. Sim bad, didn't it? See, the thing is, I'm moving into my permanent shop soon and uh, I just wondered if I could put some work here, you know. Oh, no. Days are getting me hands dirty. You're well gone, Ron. Ah, fair enough, Baz. Just thought I'd ask, you know. Listen, um, I don't say I'm worked out, though. I might be able to fix something up. Well, spot on. Where are the shops? You've probably just been looking at it. A new site? I wear the Oracle on a deal up there. Who we? Some beaut in a ponytail. Smith. Ah, yeah, that's him. Do you know him? Sort of, yeah. So what's the deal? I get fair shout on the choice units. Six months rent free. And all for not wrecking that nice little footpath. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, do me, I tell you. All right, man, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, mate. Take it easy. What have you been doing now? I'm not, I'm Dad. I'm passing down the lane.